Uh, Dave Ploquin is really, uh, by de facto, our recruiting coordinator. Uh, I, I know his title uh, points in a different direction, but he has acted as our recruiting coordinator. And we will continue in that vein through this recruiting season. So really, he is acting as that. Um, when you're assembling a staff, uh, when it talks about national recruiting, um, you're just expanding your boundaries. Um, and what I mean by that is that uh, obviously at Notre Dame, you're, you're recruiting on the East Coast and the West Coast. Um, what we've tried to do is assemble a staff that has relationships, pre-existing relationships in those geographical boundaries that I had not recruited in before. Uh, for example, uh, Mike Dembrock you know, at Washington and Stanford recruited the West Coast. He already has pre-existing relationships. So it was a natural fit for him uh, to be our West Coast recruiter. Um, uh, I think it's easy to look at Kerry Cooks and his success in Texas. Uh, on the Wisconsin roster, there's a number of players from the state of Texas. Kerry Cooks will recruit Texas for us. So I think it was just about placing those coaches that had pre-existing relationships in those geographical regions and then doing what you do. And that is, um, you know, uh, build a relationship with a kid, know the decision makers that are involved in the process, um, make certain that um, you're persistent in, in uh, your pursuit of quality student athletes. Yeah, we're in our first day. Today will be our second day. Um, you know, I think you judge it, uh, you know, down the road, but uh, I can tell you this, that our players are um, committed um, they're uh, excited um, and they want to win. Having said that, I think we had seven guys who threw up before we got through stretching. Um, so we know that, that these young men want to win and they're committed and they're going to do what we ask them to do, um, but we have got a ways to go. The Michael Floyd situation, um, I've got a chance to sit down with Michael. Um, you know, we've reinforced to him uh, about in our program here at the University of Notre Dame that making good choices um, is going to be paramount uh, to his success in this football program. So we've had that. As you know, there's, there, there's some things pending that I can't uh, get into because of uh, uh, the levels. As you know, today, relative to discipline, uh, it starts with the university level. Then it works into the athletic department. Uh, and then it goes down to the football program. So I'll be quite honest with you, over the past five or six years, um, that has, in a large degree, rendered the football coach um, uh, really uh, out of the process uh, when it comes to discipline. Because they're going to get nicked on one or two before they even get to you. Uh, but it doesn't, doesn't mean that Michael is absolved from anything. It means that those processes are going to take their course first before it gets to me. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to sit down with Michael like I did and talk about accountability, responsibility, and making good choices.